Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today we need to talk about Photon Galaxy Archetype, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of both. It's kind of weird because I, apparently there are cards that are like uh, have work with some of the some one side of it, but like don't search the other or something. It's weird. I don't know. Whatever. Today we need to talk about them because we have the new core set coming. Uh, the OCG set to get it, and I think uh, mid October. Uh, so we're like barely two months away from them getting it, which means we're going to start getting reveals early here uh, pretty soon. And it's called Photon Hypernova. Last arc, The last core set is Darkwing Blast. We thought it might be Blackwing. They got Blackwing. I think this means Photon Galaxy support. We'll see. But assuming it is, uh, and they need a lot of help, um, let's talk like they are, right? So today we're going to go through pretty much what the archetypes got going on, what they do well, what they don't do well, and what they need in terms of help should they get a wave like Blackwings did in Darkwing Blast. Because I'll say, I'll tell you what, if we get a wave akin to the the, the Darkwing or the the Darkwing, the Blackwing uh, support in the last core set, but like for photons, I think they could be in a good spot. They have some nice tools. They they really just need they need some oomph. For sure. So, let's start off by looking at what the deck has. We're going to skim through a lot of these cards. We're not going to spend too much time on it. They have a lot of extenders, but it seems like they're kind of lacking in the starter department. Galaxy Sol Soldier is pretty cool. He's one of the few cards that actually, like, pluses in the deck. Um, and that's even debatable, technically, because he has to discard. So, technically, you use two cards to get two cards. So, still kind of weird. Um, Galaxy Worm. This one does plus you, but negates the monster it summons. And plus, there's not a lot of level 3 or lower galaxy monsters, regardless. So, meh. Galaxy Wizard. Uh, it's a Stratos, but the problem with him is he has to tribute himself to search. So, you kind of just go one for one. You don't plus. Thrasher is just a basic extender. Advancer, baser ex basic extender. Vanisher, pretty much just an extender. Um, right. Photon Lizard. Contribute himself to add a level four lower photon. I guess can get just get you an extender. I don't know if he'll come up or not. He seems kind of weird, unless there's like a crazy card. I mean, I just think about if, uh, if like Mathmex, you know what I mean. This card would literally, if it had Mathmex in the name, or if this card got, if this deck got like a photon, uh, card that was like Mathmex circular, you'd you'd be like that card's just so good. I would still play this because it's a one card that gets me to circular. You know what I mean. Uh, you have Orbital. Cool search card in the deck, but again, it's a one for one. It's not a plus one. Cloud Dragon gets you a car, gets you a summon back from Grave, but you have to trade him for it. So again, one for one. Brave just jumps on the field. Not bad. Decent level eight extender. Afterglow is one of the better cards, if I remember correctly. Because um, all you need is a Galaxy Eyes monster on field, but you know what I mean? That's one of those things where like, a photon monster field doesn't make this live. A regular galaxy eyes, a galaxy monster doesn't make this live. It has to be galaxy eyes, which is kind of weird. Um, but it is one of the better cards, I think, overall. Here is a huge problem I have with the archetype. We've seen this with Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, for really big examples. When we have an archetype that is kind of anime-based, Konami will say, man, that big dragon we gave them 15 years ago was so cool. Uh, it's so cool that we still want it to be part of the archetype, even if you're going to play the deck on a competitive level. So, we're going to build the cards around this, forcing you to play this card whether you want to or not, because the deck won't work without it. But that card in question is a vanilla. Now, this card isn't a vanilla entirely, but it's not good. Not a good card. You never want to draw this, really. Uh, so that's kind of the problem we have with this card. And I have a, a sneaky feeling, even if we got 10 new cards for this archetype, kind of like Black Wings, I would feel very confident in saying right now that like they'll probably make it support that still forces you to play this guy to make it work. Not that it like guarantees the deck is completely garbage, but like it's going to make it tougher to actually make the deck like legitimately good because you're inherently playing this brick. Next up is Excel Light. We get to the spells. Pretty cool extender, but like locks you out of normal summoning or setting that turn. Um, and you have to have no monsters for it. So even seeing two of them isn't that good. So I don't know, but interesting starter card. Galaxy Eyes Expedition. Decent extender, but like you have to have setup for it. You have to put a galaxy uh, or photon monster on the field. So meh. 
Galaxy Trance locks you into Photon and Galaxy Monsters for the turn, so that does lock you out of some potential extra deck cards, as well as just anything else, any other packages you might be playing, but it does read like if you can resolve it, it it's a pretty good card overall, so it's fine. Galaxy Zero, this is kind of just an equip that's just a monster reborn for a Photon or Galaxy monster. It's pretty good. Hyper Galaxy is a weird little quick play. It's a bad interruption. It's just not good. Photon Sanctuary, pretty interesting. Um, they have a cool link too. It feels like they they need more links though. And if they got them, this card would be a lot more interesting. Because uh, this card's actually a pretty good extender. It gives you two lights, locks you into lights for the rest of the turn. But you know what I mean? Like the deck plays mostly lights, so that's not a problem really photon stream of destruction <sighs> this is what i'm talking about right here it's a quick play that can like pop a card if you control a galaxy eyes monster but you can only use it on your turn unless you control exactly galaxy eyes photon dragon so again I'm building this deck around forcing you to build the deck around galaxy eyes photon this card's a pretty powerful card uh pretty much negates anything that activates before it in the chain which is pretty crazy you could technically negate like up to like four or five cards with this in the right situation but pretty co cool card it can also fire from the hand if you control galaxy eyes tachyon dragon that's an extra deck monster but i like that you only have to have a galaxy eyes just to like fire it normally so pretty cool photon change interesting card i could see this card getting better depending on the type of support we get if we get a hand trap s card being able to search it for on the opponent's turn is cool or maybe a monster that on field in the main deck that offers interruption is pretty cool because you could just summon it out on the opponent's turn we could be looking at something, but obviously it kind of depends on what we get there. Uh, then we get to the extra deck. Soul Flare is pretty cool, but the problem with him is he has to send, let's see, discard one Photon card and a Galaxy card, or one Galaxy has Photon Dragon to target a special summon monster your opponent controls, destroy it, all for one Dryden, but it's like specific to only special summoned monsters. I don't know. Seems a little bit weak to me. I don't know, at least he gets a card back from Grave, so he guarantees one of those, like, discards at least, but, meh, still, like, a just an inefficient card, and that really seems to be the story for the archetype. This card helps you um, pull out a Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon straight from the deck, or the hand, potentially. Uh, this guy, I don't even remember what he does, but I think he's has some battle tricks or something. Then we get to the rank eights. This is where like most of this is where most of your end board is going to come from. Most of your like combo like or I guess interruptions. You have Galaxian's Photon Lord, which can be I think like an imperm plus a negation. Uh oh no, it adds it gives you the ability to like also search a card, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, all things considered. Uh, Hope Harbinger. This card's a spell negate that also like uh, like owns your opponent's battle phase pretty much. Uh, and then you have a bunch of these guys, like the Galaxy Eyes guys, where, like, if they're on something, they can usually, some of them can, like, overlay on top of an already summoned Galaxy Eyes card without having to put two level eights on the field. So you go, like, summon one, pop a card, summon another one on top of it, pop another card. That's what a lot of them do. Here's your Tachyon guy who you need to have to make um, the trap card, the counter trap, live. Uh, full armor, really big boy that just pops a card. Same thing here, and so on and so forth. So you kind of get the idea um there um where are we at with the deck uh, i think we, you guys probably got a good grasp just kind of how going through everything there first and foremost it has very very few cards that actually plus in the deck it feels like most of the extenders are at best one for ones um and in a deck like this if that's how that like in modern day you give you're gonna have to use three four cards to do a combo you're gonna end with three or four cards uh, so that needs to get way more efficient. That also ends up hurting consistency at the end of the day, because if you want to consistently make good boards, you need to be seeing three to four card combos instead of one or two card combos like modern day really good decks do. I mean, look at what splites can do with one card, right? Um, so that really hurts. Um, so what I would like to see first and foremost is like, honestly, just a little bit of everything, but just better I, I know that's like a really bad answer but like they need a starter a legit normal summon that is not only a good normal summon they have a couple normal summons here but all of them are at best one for ones not plus ones none of them plus you whatsoever so i'd like to see some cards that actually plus you whether it be starters maybe a spell starter that pluses you maybe a monster normal summon that pluses you 
Um, I'd like to see some better extenders. A lot of its extenders are just like a one-for-one -one body on the field. Or something like Galaxy Soldier, which can get you another body, um, but it, you have to give up two cards from hand, right? You're going to lose two cards from hand to put two bodies on the field. Not super great um, at the end of the day. So it feels like all the extenders are one-for-ones. It feels like all the starters are one-for-ones. You never actually go plus in the deck. And especially if you're ending on something like Soul Flare Dragon, where you have to pitch two cards from hand to pop one monster, you're just going to super neg at the end of the day. So pretty much in the comment section when I made a post asking people who might know more about the deck than I did, I've never really messed around with the deck particularly myself, what they wanted, almost everybody, the consensus decision was, we just need a way to play and make decent boards, not even great boards, decent boards, where we don't just have zero cards in hand every single time we do it. And that's the problem. So, like, you make an okay board. It's okay to get your board broken, but you got to have follow-up. The deck does nothing to have follow-up because you never have any cards left in hand at the end of your combo. So, maybe a little bit of recursion throughout your combo to guarantee you have one or two cards in hand going into the next turn. And like, So, if you only set up three negations and your opponent can play through it, you're going to have a way to play on the next turn if you were not OTK'd. That's really another thing the deck really wants to see. Um, I'd like to see some extra deck monsters as well. Soul Flare is okay. Um, I don't hate it, but it feels like they're, they could really make use of like a powerful Link 2 that like gets them a card and then maybe also, you know, helps them extend in some way. Um, and then other than that, like they got a bunch of good pool of rank eights, maybe another rank four. It feels like both the rank fours are like, okay. There was the one rank four where it only searches galaxy eyes, photon dragon and no other card. Doesn't search a photon card. Doesn't search a galaxy card to help you extend. It just gets the brick horrible that's horrible um so yeah that's kind of where we're at it needs a little bit of everything um i'd like to see even if it's even if it's not like extremely consistent maybe they give them one starter but that starter kind of facilitates a one card combo it's not something you're going to see all the time every time every time but like the ability to do a one card play if need be but then from there it's like the deck already has a ton of extenders so maybe it's just like a one card play or potentially like any okay starter with like the ability to put one other like photon or galaxy body on the field gets you there that's kind of what i want to see overall again i don't want to i don't need this deck to be crazy i just want it on honestly blackwing level i think black wings after the new support are like an interesting rogue deck they're very combo heavy they're very weak to particular things in the meta but that's okay because they have power and they have consistency now that's all i want is to to be able to respect this deck on a level of consistency and power because right now it feels like neither are that great to be honest they're just okay like if you want this deck to be consistent you probably don't have room to play like hand traps and actual stuff that allows you to like not just auto lose the game going second in a competitive format but there you go um, those are my thoughts overall on Galaxy Photons. Uh, very curious to hear your guys' thoughts. I know most people just said, give us cards that don't deplete our hand to do a simple play. Um, and I agree. Uh, but if you want to get a little more in-depth, throw out some very specific card des like descriptions on what exactly you want to see, let me know. Let me freaking know, and I I'd love to see it. So I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching as always, guys. Subscribe to the channel for more discussion videos like this one down the line. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.